which I was not, you know, excited about. Um, so I want you guys to take notes. I want you guys to hear how I incorporated the wrap and the other products into my business and how I retired six months into this business. I sold my salons. Woo! Um, I saw this as an opportunity for fast cash. In a salon, time is money, and if I could grab someone in three minutes and make 25 bucks, I was so excited because I had people coming in my salon all day long. I taught my girls how to wrap their clients. Um, we were wrapping people. I had banners inside my door. I had to climb over those banners to, to get into my salon because I wanted them to know, what is this all about? I had blitz cards everywhere on the stations. Um, my massage therapists were wrapping people. My estheticians were wrapping people. Um, my vision was $25 times wrapping 50 people a day, I'm going to get rich off of this, you know? And I wanted to retail the product also, so I did that. Then I realized that if I got other distributors on board, some of my girls that worked for me, um, they were distributors too. So we started cranking out, just wrapping people every day, because that was our goal. And we had people coming in off the streets that never graced our doors before. And it was it was an unbelievable experience. Um, I want you to know when you go into a salon and approach them about this business, they are one person. They are one person just like you're one-on-one -on -one with somebody in the grocery store. You want to throw your salon proposal out the door. Do not take it in there. As an owner, when someone would come in with a bag, a suit and tie, and, you know, big, big binders full of, of paperwork that I needed to read, I was not interested. I don't have time for that. They don't have time. I walked in off the street when I went to salons to get them on my team. I walked in off the street in regular clothes with a blitz card and a wrap. And I said, have y'all ever heard that crazy rap? And y'all took a skinny rap here? And they're like, no, what are you talking about? And then I would pull the blitz card out and blitz them. I didn't pull a binder out with photos and, you know, how much money they can make. I pulled the blitz card out and I said, I have a product that you can incorporate into your salon, generate cash money, retail money, and I'm telling you, you will have coming in your salon that you've never saw before and your business will boom. This is what it is. This is what it does. You can charge your clients $25 as an add-on service and do you want me to wrap you today? And if the person at the desk or the owner or the manager doesn't have time, turn around to the stylist and say, I've got a wrap. Who wants to wrap? And they will come running to you. Your object is to get the wrap on your body. When my sponsor came in, after about the fifth time I told her no, she showed up. She had been calling me, okay? So she called and called and I said no. I said no, so obviously that didn't work. She walked in one day and said, give me three minutes and let me wrap you. Because the product sells itself, we know that. Just like you're talking to an individual, our object is to get the wrap on their body. And when she wrapped me, I could not help but ask her questions. And I was very intrigued. It wasn't like a traditional wrap where you go into a room for an hour and they wrap you up in the heat blankets and you know you sweat everything out. Um, I was very intrigued. It was easy. It was effective. And I could add three minutes to my service by wrapping them. They could wear it while they had their service done. And they want, you know, to buy a retail off, off the shelf when they get done getting their hair color. So you have to keep it simple. Um, you will not get tons of salons to jump on board with you if you take in your salon proposal. So set it on fire. 